Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. So I'll be doing a love reading for you from early September to mid-September 2020. Do keep in mind that time is fluid and this may not resonate for everyone. All right then, it may resonate for just a few, but whatever messages you get, they will most likely be quite strong. <laughs> Just going to do a quick prayer. So I'll be looking into the emotions and feelings of the person that you're dealing with or connecting with on a romantic level, or the person you want to be connecting with on a romantic level, someone that you may not be in contact with right now. Someone that might have closed off. Okay. Okay. There you go. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I think you can. First card is creativity. Followed by pleasure. Wild woman. Sensuality and beauty. Crisis card. Hmm, there's one more card here. I wonder if you could see that. Okay, there you are. That's grief. And under the bottom of the deck, you have opening. All right. So Aquarius, I'm gonna to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you. And these are current feelings. My dear Aquarius, there's a lot of things that I have learned about you being in this connection, yet still I want to grow and learn more. I've come to the realization that I do want to create with you something that is brand new, something that is very truthful. I want to create something in terms of love and romance and see how strong it is and see how far it goes. Being with you does give me so much pleasure and I love pleasuring you. Just the thought of it is pleasurable. And it's not just about being together intimately as a friend, the thought in my mind is to just have fun. I enjoy my life when I am in the company of you. But in the past, I have not been as truthful as I should have been. There were things that I was hiding, things that I have, should have come clean about. I should not have kept certain things on the inside. And for this, I understand that you've become defensive. You have put your guard up. And even though you do that, there's so much about you where I just can't stay away because you are so sensual. There is this sense of beauty about you and this gracefulness, which is very hard to ignore. 
the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you move your hands, your eyes, the way your lips move. There's so much about you that attracts me so much. And I do find that you are a beautiful person, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. And you are one of those special people who are able to make me see my own self, my true self in the mirror, who I really am, what I am really like. And do I like what I see? No, I don't like what I see. I'm very overwhelmed by what I have done to you and what you have showed me. Even if you have not explained everything, I know that the true me was not very good to you. There's a lot of mental anguish, anxiety. There's a lot of worry and stress. And there's a part of me that does feel very centered with you. Like the yin and yang. If you are the sun, I'm the moon. There's this perfect harmony, this perfect balance that I find. And this is very spiritual for me. There is so much that has happened in our lives and I do feel sad and guilt, remorse, regret as to what I have done. In this relationship, did I focus more on your looks? Yes. It was all about your looks. A little bit, I've started to feel there's a spiritual aspect. Is there emotions? I want to create something. So I feel sad that you feel as though somehow you are used, misused, for the wrong reasons. And whatever has happened, I finally want to come clean and I want to open up to you. I want to talk to you about certain dark aspects of my life, things that I have not told you, that I have not shared with anyone. There are certain things that are in the dark and I don't want them to be in the dark any longer. I want to come clean. All right, Aquarius. <sighs> yeah. It almost seems, Aquarius, that the relationship that you are dealing with, or that some of you, not all of you, this is not applicable to everybody, but it does seem to me as though there was a certain portion of you here where you're dealing with a situation you're dealing in a situation um, where the person was very much sexually attracted to you and that was about it. Finding any type of emotion was very difficult for this person. But they are slowly, slowly starting to realize this. All right, let's have a look if there's any potential actions, any plans, any intentions that this person has. What What's the future holding for you guys? Is there any future? Are they going to be taking any action or is it just inaction? Okay. You have the Fool card. This person is wanting to take a risk, wanting to take a leap of faith and doing what they think is right.
Okay, interesting. Aquarius, the person that you're dealing with is kind of materialistic. They like to show off and they might like to show you off actually because of the way you look. Um, and these cards just indicate to me that. So the full card is yes, this person wants to think later and take action first. They want to be with you, there's no doubt about that. With the Queen of Pentacles, they do feel that you are someone very nurturing, you're someone very caring, a good homemaker even, somebody who is well established and you can take care of yourself and that is very charming. They admire this about you. They find that as a bonus point. Now, you also have the Five of Swords. There is a lot of competition around you. This person wants to compete and they want to win you as the competition. They want to win you as the reward in this competition. And there are a lot of admirers that you do have, Queen of Wands. This person does get jealous when they think about you with other people or the potential of you being with other people. They don't like it because they feel as though you you need to be with them. They, they have this feeling, this urge. And as the Queen of Wands, you are very seductive. You're very beautiful. This person does find you very irresistible. Very irresistible. And beautiful can mean handsome too. Men are beautiful too. <laughs> it's just a word. Um, so this person does find you very seductive, very tempting. And what I find from these cards though, the, the feeling that I'm getting is honestly, it's about kind of like show off. It's still the same feeling that I just had felt right in the beginning. And under the bottom of the deck, you do have 10 of pentacles. Yes, this person does want a happy home with you. Um, they want to provide you with a lot of potential, a lot of, you know, there, there's a car, there's a house, um, happy family, everything's financially stable. And don't get me wrong, financially stable is very, very important, especially these days. Yes, we do need that. However, I don't see a lot of emotion here. Actually, I don't see any emotion here. Do you guys see any cups here? I don't see any cups here. So this is an issue. Um, very much from the head, very much practical. Now this person may be a bit closed off emotionally, which I do see that he or she is. And this is a problem, which is why most likely they are more attracted to you just by visual. So they're not as open emotionally as they should be, as they could be. So this person still needs to learn a lesson because they're not going to get anywhere close. They're not going to be able to win your heart if it's just about physical aspect. There has to be some emotion there too. If the both of you are truly wanting to be happy. All right, this is the Lover's Path Tarot deck and I'm going to have a look at any aspects that are negative, that are affecting this relationship. Contemplation and balance. Very interesting. Contemplation is like the Hermit card. So, this person does want to listen to his or her heart. However, they're retreating into their inner self at this time. And they're not really able to focus on the relationships with others right now. They just don't want to. And they're also ignoring the relationship that they're in with you. Why? Because they're distracted by the world. They're also ignoring their own intuition in regards to what they should do and how they should do it. They feel that the relationship that they have with you is a little bit superficial. And they are also feeling quite unconnected with their own heart. So this person has emotional issues, guys. 
and this is going to be for a handful of you it's not going to be for everyone because this is definitely not going to resonate with everybody this seems to be a very particular reading a message for somebody out there balance lack of harmony lack of self-control not being able to find an equal balance this person's not able to find the balance between opposites union of the conscious and the unconscious aspects of the psyche they're not able to make union of this so imbalance wow this person has an imbalance guys um they cannot balance the physical aspect with the emotional aspect they're having an issue doing this they just can't do it it's not in their mindset now that doesn't mean it might not grow but as of right now if you're facing issues it's not because they're not doing it on purpose they just can't do it discomfort they feel uncomfortable inability to find peace within themselves and within others and they're finding a lack of inspiration all right this person seems a little closed off and for reasons that they know are valid they are behaving the way they are because this is who they are they're not doing it on purpose they actually just don't know any better at least not yet all right let's have a look here now this is the doreen virtues deck angel answer oracle cards and i'll be pulling out a few there you go let's see forgiveness okay yes ask for help from others abundance unlikely Look for a sign. Let go. Don't stop. Okay, Aquarius, this is a very clear answer. And if you're in love, the majority of you guys may not like this answer. But it is for your greater good. This message is brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Now they are saying that in order for you to move forward and for your heart to heal from the situation that you have been put into, forgiveness has to be exchanged in this relationship. Somebody needs forgiveness and somebody has to give forgiveness to the other. And yes, it is important that you ask for help from others. This could be from your friends, family, this could be from the internet. Learn something about the situation. Learn something about the type of people you're dealing with in the situation. And you will receive abundance. Will the situation work out for you the way you're thinking? It's unlikely. However, from the divine, you will be receiving signs. So when you see things like repetitive numbers, patterns, colors, names, shapes, do keep in mind that that is the universe's way of reaching out to you and letting you know that they are supporting you. You're not alone. They're watching you. They want you to let go because they don't want you to worry anymore. Let go because it's unlikely that this is going to work out the way that you thought it would work out. But don't stop loving. Don't close your heart. Don't close your heart to love. Keep it open. It sounds hard, guys, but the more you're willing to forgive, the more yeses and abundance you will receive. 
sometimes there's a limit to forgiveness and you guys know what your limits are so with this situation with this relationship Aquarius I would simply say be careful because it does seem to me as though the person that you're dealing with is not as emotional as they should be they should be more there should be more emotions in this relationship however as of right now it doesn't seem to be there it's not all there so that's your message guys I hope I was able to clarify a few things for you and once again thank you very much for your love and support for liking sharing and subscribing to the channel and I will see you again in mid-September until then take care stay safe and definitely guys stay positive don't stop loving don't stop keeping your heart open leave your heart open that's very important all right then bye now